okay? Uh, I don't know how this angle is for you guys, but hi! <laughs> um, welcome to my bedroom! So, it was a while since I did one of these videos, but... Well, you guys already know, but... Uh, First, I actually have a few things that I want to rant about. Uh, feel free to like skip this part, I don't really care, but it would be fun if I got some of your guys' opinions on this. So, first of all, I have seen Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> I mean, I love it, it's Deadpool and <laughs> it is Wolverine, my favorite Marvel character. But, uh, obviously I write down because, yeah. But I saw a thing that there was actually supposed to be a kiss in the car. And I, like, I do think it's supposed to be like accidental, but honestly, not really what I would expect. Because, like, yeah, Deadpool, I feel like he's the most pan person ever. But with Logan, I feel like he is... I mean, I would say he's somewhere on the aromantic spectrum. I don't know. And I feel like he's a guy that, like, would have tried, like, once with a dude. But I don't think that's something, like, he goes for. Obviously the easter eggs, really funny. Though there was like this teenager when, when I was watching and with the whole Johnny Storm thing, like, I don't think he would get it. I mean, Silver Surfer came out in like, I don't know, before 2010, yeah. So, but all the easter eggs, really, really funny. Yeah, I've I've actually been jogging and that's why I'm a little little warm. But I, I just want to get home and do this video. And the last thing Gambit. So I have watched the original like X-Men movies and the, the Baldwin Origins. So many times, like I don't even know how many. But I basically grew up watching those and Gambit, like I've heard that Channing Tatum always wanted to play Gambit and like that's I mean good for him. That's amazing getting to play like your favorite character. But I have to agree, who was his accent coach, you know? Um, oh yeah, so Beetlejuice is coming out next month. Okay, first of all, I live like half an hour outside of town with taking the bus, you know. And on the premiere date, the 5th, they only have for an 8 o'clock and I'm like... <laughs> I do not want to wait maybe an hour for a bus, okay? So I am going on the 6th. And at least in my town, they have put it down as from 11. Beetlejuice, an obvious pedo. Like, Obvious. Like, I thought they would go on with, like, him going for Lydia again. And, like, oh, babes, how about we continue there where we left off? You know, something like that. But no, 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 we're, we're going for her kid. And I feel like that will affect how easily, like, predators will be able to get to kids. Because they're connected to Beetlejuice. Because like 11 year olds, they don't, you know, it doesn't function. <laughs> it doesn't think really that great. So, 
Yeah, I... Mm, my f headphones, since they don't think that I'm listening to any sounds, they turn off again because it is my phone I'm using. But either way, like with Beetlejuice, this could go really bad. <laughs> and I hope not. Like, I do like Beetlejuice, but he is a pedal. That's why I uh, sip for the cartoon Beetlejuice, like, you know. But either way, I really hope that they will continue on with like Beetlejuice being this creep and like just show how wrong it all is. <laughs> and I have actually watched the TV show and the live action movie of Monster High. Oh god, the... I am so sorry about the light, guys. This is awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's like my, my... So if I hold it like this, will you guys see it? Yes, I am opening it. Because in two days I will have the bookshelf or the shelf where I will put this. So... But yeah, I have seen the live action. I saw the first one. It was shit. Like, where did they put their money? What, what, what is up? What is this? Like, even the wigs were bad. How can you mess up wigs? I don't get it. But... I do like the TV show, like, the headmistress not as cool, but I do like that they have a bigger focus on the monster part, like Cleo, she has her organs in these yards, though I do think it's a bit too bright for, like, style-wise for my taste, it's supposed to be a bit more gothic but here we are so yeah like I do like it but it's not like whoa you know but either way we're gonna open her up and honestly this lightning lightning <laughs> this light is so bad but yeah I wanted to give your guys like a better look at all of this. And yeah, I will wash their hair. By the way, uh, if you want a good tip, I would recommend... I don't know what like other countries have. But here in Sweden we have like this kind of soap that you usually use for like the floor and stuff. Sofa. And that works wonders on like dolls' hairs when you're when you're cleaning that up. So and um, yeah, when it comes to conditioner, I just use my normal conditioner so yeah a bit uh, expensive since I use my own but yeah. <laughs> yeah I am having some issues with this mostly because <laughs> Back of the hair. Oh. Oh, it worked. I do have a cat. Cat in noir. Like the old one. And for some reason this didn't work. On hers. I don't know why. Maybe it's something when I moved. I don't know. It didn't work. I'm, I'm kind of pissed at it. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh god, Frankie. Okay, so now we're back again with the microphone. Like, I wish I could connect the microphone I usually use to my uh, phone. But yeah, that's, that doesn't work. Oh. So, this is really giving like Gaga vibes. Am I the only one? But yeah, I think I will only watch this part. See as well, it's kind of unnecessary to watch up here since I do want it to just be like this. I mean, especially <laughs> with what doll this is and stuff, I don't really want to like mess things up too much. So yeah, like <laughs> you guys don't get it. I am like so like. Yeah, like I love like the details. I mean, it's not really Monster High, but it's definitely giving Monster High Lady Gaga mashup. That's definitely my feeling on this. I mean, yeah, I know that Lady Gaga got her own Monster High dolls, so... Oh god, it's one of those where they, like, can't stand. Like, stop. Because the same is with Skeleta. Like, she, she can't stand up either, and I'm over here like... What, what do you want? Why can't you just stand? Like I'm I know it's supposed to like look cool, but falling ain't cool. But yeah, all this uh, it just looks so cool. Especially since I'm so you I'm starting to get used to like the newer versions, so you know they're not really that bright, so to say, you know. Not so bright. <laughs> they are bright, they're not very dark. My bad. Like, it's not a lot of black. And honestly, if you guys want to, I could show how I have uh, added some of my own designs to. Uh, I mean, especially like. Gen 3 Cleo, I would say, is quite obvious how much I've added. Because I've on honestly only like added some black parts. Like I had a black marker that is for plastic and I just used that and went to town. <laughs> and I mean, I think it looks good, you know? Yeah, I'm... Since these were also stuck, they have like these tiny, tiny ones. But I mean, like, come on, this is, I mean, fabulous. She is fabulous. I, I... yeah, yeah, I, I love her. I, I, I love it. So yeah, now I will also be able to just like show off this fantastic front side of the box. Because honestly, I missed it all. I, I think it looks really, really cool. God damn it. Why do I always mess up? Stop, just... 
Ja sta. I... Thank you. Because honestly, like... God damn it! Because like, just seeing this... I think it looks cool enough just on its own. I mean, I would probably pay like... 15 bucks just for that. And now... <laughs> I don't even know how long I've had this one, like... Yeah, and she's finally gonna get open. Yeah, I'm using a nail scissor, in case you guys want to know what works best when you open, like, dolls. And as I suspected, oh, oh, you do get a like a certificate card. This certifies that your monster holiday winter edition doll. Materialized through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at the Mattel. Uh, speaking of Mattel, I actually have something to tell you guys. I haven't seen the Barbie movie. Like, it's one of few things that I like never really felt for. You know, I I didn't really. Like, yeah, when when it first came out, like, the trailer, I was quite hyped for it, um, all of that, but honestly, as I got to know a bit more, it just kind of, um, you know, it, it turned into a meh. Like, I'm not judging people who love it, like, that's great that you love it, but I just ain't feeling it. No, I do like this old stand. I do like the glitter, it really gives that extra that... I wouldn't say Draculaura is missing in the new version. But I definitely don't get the same amount of... ...muchness that Draculaura usually have. Like, I don't. <laughs> I mean, that's up to everyone, I suppose, you know. Because I know some people, they absolutely love the new Monster High generation. I mean, I like it, I don't love it. Like, first of all, why do we have this, like, Deuce Claudine thing? Like what? What? What's up with that? I I ain't. I don't approve, honestly. Like, why? Why couldn't we finally have Claudine being, like, full out lesbian? Why? Why was that taken away from us? Because I feel like <laughs> I would say it's. Or do I, do I think it's disrespectful? Kinda? Sorta? I mean, why couldn't we have her finally being a full lesbian? Why do we have to go for like this? Do this has to have someone? Because like that one episode in the first season with like Cleo and Frankie, like yeah, I'm I'm here for that. That's I can see that happening. But like Deuce and Claudine. Um that's 
That's not really the it couple. <laughs> and though I do love that we have Trix and Mattel, like that's that's the full name, right? Trixie, I I <laughs> Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, like, it's like Disney. First of all, have you guys heard about like the whole Disney uh, suing uh, stuff? I mean, I think most people have heard, but honestly, it's like first we have like Snow White, which I think they messed up on all levels. Oh. Okay, you need to wash your hair. This is like this ponytail is a bit. But yeah, first we have Snow White, which is absolutely messed up. Like <laughs> no shield on that part. I mean, from what I've heard from my bestie, the actress doesn't even like Snow White. So I'm like, why why was she even trying to get the part of Snow White if she doesn't even like it? That's just weird. And second of all, the fact that they hired one little person only to not have them as dwarves and then fire the little person and take back the dwarves. That, like it, I can't even, like Disney, what the fuck? Because it's like, yeah, well, I understand that it's hard to do like the Billy Bonka movies from like 70s or whenever it was. That you have like all the dwarves being little people. But at least in Burton, he hired like one little person and then CGI the rest of it. You know, that's the least you can do your goddamn Disney. But no. No, Disney, they just. They just don't care. They do this inclusivity stuff just because they don't want to get sued. But they can't do too much because then they lose China. And if they lose China, they lose so much stuff. And, and yes, like. No, no. <laughs> but. Yeah, at least I have. You guys don't get it, like they're gorgeous. But yeah, I think Disney has messed up, especially with like this whole accident thing, and you can't sue them because your partner decided to create a Disney Plus account. Because, like, he's not suing for himself, he's suing for his wife, because she can't do that herself. And I'm just supposed to, like, sit here and be like, yeah, go Disney, you have uh, fucked up with Marvel. Because, honestly, like, after Endgame, it was, like, so bad. Like, yeah, I just want to show you guys, like, close up. But like after Endgame, it got so bad. Like honestly, I don't like Miss Marvel. I don't like She-Hulk. And if we're gonna be honest, I love Moon Knight, but it doesn't bring anything. It's a good standalone series, but like as part of Marvel, it's like eh, eh. And like the only, I mean, now Venom wasn't even after. 
I was like the second venom meh and like let's not even talk about Madam Web. I will probably never see it. I haven't seen it. I have Disney Plus, I will still not see it. Like they have just messed up. I don't think Disney and Marvel is actually going to be able to work this out without like trying to like reboot themselves like they need to start having like a whole new like yeah okay the main part of Disney will no longer be working with Marvel. Marvel is basically their own thing. Kick all the old, old writers except for... Uh, the hell is his name? Feige? Fage? Whatever. Because he does a good job. But these TV series... Like, I still sit here and watch, like, the old X-Men movies and be like, yeah, this is it. By the way, guys, just a last thing before I'm done with this video. Why have we gone from Hugh Jackman as Wolverine being buff? Like, just Google up a picture of Wolverine X-Men 1. Or, like, first X-Men movie. And, like, him in like Deadpool and Wolverine why did we go from natural looking to like this ripped ass stuff that he even can't handle and this is what we get the more body positivity we get like women get Lizzo and guys get Wolverine like huh? I mean, yeah, like, I have seen memes about, like, oh, yeah, the guys that complain about the... Uh, the guy that plays the Witcher, that plays Geralt and Superman, and Hugh Jackman giving men, a, like, a bad standard. Like, if we look at... Because I always thought that, like, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine was ripped. Well, not ripped, but like, he was strong looking. And I always thought, I always thought he was good looking too, you know? But if you just Google up the difference between the first X-Men movie and Deadpool and Wolverine, like... We have more body positivity, we um, acknowledge more that it does affect people. And yet this is what we do. This is like the person that we want to show guys. That this is like it. This is the thing women are thirsting for. I mean, first of all, I, as I said in my last video. Abs can look kind of nasty. Because it looked so unnatural. That one scene. It looked so like, uh. like I don't want to touch those abs skin to skin. Like I can touch them through a t-shirt, but not skin to skin. They just look nasty. Like I rather touch. Uh. I mean, also, also, you can Google up how he looks in the bold green. Like even those abs. Like, there's a huge difference between first X-Men movie and the Wolverine. But the Wolverine to Deadpool and Wolverine? Like, that's a huge difference as well. Like, what? Like, yeah. Um, kids get dolls that have more... That have, like, natural curves compared to this. And yet... Everywhere we have that guys is supposed to be even more ripped than what they were around when I was born, you know, the early 2000s. What the fuck? 
And that was my TED talk. So yeah, um, I have more dolls on the way. I don't know if I will be doing it in my bedroom again or if I will be doing it by my computer. We'll have to see, but please do give me feedback on how this looks and if this is actually more comfortable because you get to see the dolls more or if it's just like the stupidest shit I've ever done. Peace.